Hey everybody, we are taking Pittsburgh Today Live outside today to show off part of this year's Jurassic World exhibit. It's coming soon to PPG Paints Arena October 24th through the 27th. So I even had to take my heels off because we are in the jungle, <laughs> right? I had to be part of it. So I'm here with John Palberry. Tell us all about this coming to PPG Paints Arena soon in a couple weeks. Uh, Jurassic World Live Tour is a brand new adventure show. Now, it's not just dinosaurs on parade. They're not just marching around. I'm talking we've got stunts, uh, motorcycles flying through the air, uh, cutting edge technology, special effects, that iconic John Williams soundtrack. It's a heck of a great time for the entire family. Oh, and, uh, and tell us about our friend here. Well, this is Olive. Olive is a two-year-old baby stegosaurus, and that's why she's naturally curious. She's checking everything out here in Pittsburgh. She's one of seven different dinosaur species we're going to have in the show. We have uh, Pteranodons flying through the sky, Triceratopses, full-size Stegosaurus, uh, fan favorites like Blue the Velociraptor, and of course, a full-size, fully life-life T-Rex. So what's the reaction usually when you have these shows to see the fans in the audience? I'm sure it's pretty incredible when once they see the entire production. Uh, fun fact, we actually imply, uh, employ an entire janitorial staff just to pick Jaws up off the floor once that T-Rex comes out. <laughs> <laughs> now, honestly, um, it's very exciting. You'll be on the edge of your seat, and there's plenty of heartwarming moments at, while we're at it as well. Yeah. So what's the most interesting reaction you would think that you, you would have from people? Because a lot of people, if they're not familiar with the show, if they're not familiar and, and they see it for the first time live in person, what do they usually f get a feel from it? Uh, it's that uh, sense of childlike wonder. You're seeing animals on a scale that we're just not used to uh, every day in lives as humans nowadays. Uh, so when you see something that just is built on a scale <laughs> from 65 million years ago, uh, awe, wonder. <laughs> Little bit of healthy, healthy terror, it's a good thing. I think I'm warming up here. I, I, was, I was pretty nervous when I got outside. Our girl is very, very friendly. Absolutely. Very friendly. So could, could we do a few tricks over here? Or maybe I could feed we, our friend. We've done some actual scientific research. I'd like to show you something. Come on over here. Yeah. We'll follow you, John. Right over here. Take a knee. Just take a knee. All right. Lots of scientific research into this one. I'll hold this for a second. If you reach your hand underneath to Olive's neck, just like this, and give her a little scritch on the leg, you'll find that she really likes it. Good girl, Olive, good girl, Olive. And we've also found... Thank you, John. Her being a plant eater, she normally eats her leafy, leafy greens, her salads, that sort of thing, but when she does a really good job, like she's doing right now, she gets a treat. Olive, honey, would you like an apple? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Good girl, Olive, good girl. Olive likes apples. What else does Olive typically eat on a daily basis? A purely vegetarian diet. So she eats her leafy greens, she eats her hay, and when she's a good girl, she gets fruit. Very cool. Well, I'm excited. So the show is coming to the arena the 24th through the 27th, and tickets are great. They're 30 bucks. Absolutely. They can find them on JurassicWorldLiveTour.com, and I always recommend get yours before they go extinct. I love it. Well, John, thank you so much for coming on PTL today. I'm going to have to head back into the studio, step out of the jungle here, but it's been a great time with you. And thanks so much to Olive as well. You were a great sport, Olive. <laughs> All right, David, we're going to send it back to you inside. I love it, Selena. I'm glad Olive is a plant eater. I was concerned for you for a moment. Uh, but the show is going to PPG Paints Arena, and you can get another sneak peek at the Jurassic World exhibit actually coming up this weekend. They're joining dozens of other companies to show kids some of the cool opportunities there are in STEM-related fields. We told you about this a little bit earlier, but we want to remind you the Williams KDKA TV STEM Fest presented by Verizon is happening this Saturday at the Mall at Robinson from 10 until 5. So be sure to check that out.